MD weighs Zazakamullah. What is the Sahih Aqeedah? Why is it important? How bad Aqeedah can lead to bad? Wallahi, my friend Muhammad, this is a very long answer that requires a lecture. Aqeedah is your conviction, your belief. And we have only one type of Aqeedah that is accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal. How do we know this? From the Hadith. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, my Ummah will be divided into 73 sects, all of which will enter hell except one. So they asked him, O Prophet of Allah, which one is it? Then the Prophet said, whoever is following my footsteps and my companion's footsteps. So this Hadith clearly states that there are 72 sects of the Ummah who will go to hell. Now, scholars say that are they different from the Prophet's way and the companion's way in terms of fiqh? So whether they put their hands on the chest or below their belly buttons, whether they do this or do that, that is no. These differences in fiqh are not of an essential part of the religion that divides the Muslims. What is problematic is issues regarding aqidah. So we have people who do not believe in the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They either misinterpret it, some of them neglect it or uh, uh, divert the meanings and alter it. This is an extreme way of going against the authentic and sahih aqidah. So when you worship Allah, you have to know who you are worshiping according to the knowledge you received from the Prophet If Allah tells us that he has a throne and that he is above his throne and people say no 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 Allah is not above his throne and this is mentioned in like seven places in the Quran and in numerous numbers of hadith so no 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 you misunderstand what do I misunderstand what is it when Allah tells us in the Quran that he has two hands and he has a face when Allah tells us about himself all of these things and people come and say no 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 this is a metaphor but the Quran was revealed in Arabic. What do you mean by metaphor? Allah is telling us about himself. He says, no, no, this is wrong. This is a breach of faith because you're not believing in Allah anymore. You're believing something else. You're falsifying what Allah has described himself by. When people do not believe in the torment of the grave, though it's mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah, they do not believe in the physical presence of Jannah and of hellfire. And they say that this is all mental and not physical. Then you start to believe that your conviction, your belief is not on the right track and there is a big problem. And this is why if you follow the false aqidahs, when people come and believe that Prophet Muhammad is not dead, they say, if he's not dead, then where is he? Let us see him. Let him rule the world into justice. They say, no, no, he's Hazar Nazar. And he's not created from clay like human beings. He's created from Allah's Nur. When they say that he controlled the universe and that he knows the unseen, they are describing Allah Azza wa Jal. What are they doing? And then they say, no, we love the Prophet and we are the followers of the Quran and Sunnah. These are followers of the Shaytan. When people come, and they curse the companions of the Prophet and they slander the mothers of the believers like Mother Aisha and Mother Hafsa and they accuse them of kufr and then they say we are Muslims. How can that be? If someone comes and says that the Prophet is not the seal of the prophethood and there are other prophets after him, this is blasphemous. So correct aqidah means that you believe in Allah and in his books in the Day of Judgment, in the angels, in the messengers, and in the Qadr, in the destiny or pre-decree uh, uh, or the divine decree. And if you don't have the right conviction in Aqidah, you are not a proper Muslim.